Hi, my name is Margaret Mezgers. I'm a senior scientist from Waters Corporation. And today I'm going to be presenting a poster on the transfer of USB methods for Zeprazidone impurities between two different HPLC systems and two UPLC. In this poster, we presented work on the transfer of two HPLC methods for related compounds of the Prazodon hydrochloride listed in the USP between two different HPLC platform systems. Subsequently, we transferred the method to UPLC. And finally, we transfer one of the HPLC methods between laboratories located in two different continents, one in the USA and one in France. We began our study by running the HPLC methods for the Prazodon hydrochloride related compounds on the Alliance HPLC system on, and an acute UPLC H class system. USP designates using L7 column. We used Waters reverse phase selectivity column chart to find an equivalent column to L7 column and we use the expert C8 column for UPLC testing. While we transferred the method to um, acuity UPLC H class system, we found evidence of distortion of peaks. We designed several experimental testing to investigate and to solve the issue with the distortion of peaks. The testing included reducing the concentration of organic solvent in the sample diluent, reducing the injection volume of, on, your, on your system, increasing the post injecting volume of the acuity UPLC H class system. As shown in figure two, we reduced the composition of methanol in a sample diluent from 80 to 70 percent. We injected them into UPLC H class system for comparison. We've learned that decreasing the concentration of methanol in the sample diluent have drastically improved the separation and the resolution between the peaks. However, um, modification to the sample diluent is not recommended by the USB. As displayed in figure three, we reduced the injection volume from 20 to 10 to five microliters. Reducing the volume have significantly improved the separation, resolution, and peak symmetry, but it also reduced the sensitivity. Well, ULSP allows to make modification to the injection volume as long as the limit of detection remains acceptable. Well, in this case, we couldn't use the reduction of the injection volume to mitigate the peak, the distortion of peaks. In figure four, we have increased the post injector volume of the UPLC H class system, meaning we have installed an extra tubing between the injector and the column inlet to increase this, the system volume. And that have drastically, significantly improved the separation, peak symmetry, and resolution. And we are remaining within the allowable recommendation by the USP. So by increasing the system volume, we were able to successfully reproduce the HPLC methods on the Acuity UPLC H class system. Next, we um, updated the HPLC method to UPLC, utilizing 1.7 micron particle size columns. By doing so, we reduced runtime by 63%, as demonstrated in figure five and six. Finally, we transfer one of the HPLC methods for the related compounds analysis for, of the president hydrochloride to a laboratory located in France. As shown in figure seven, the results were comparable to the one acquired in Milford, Massachusetts. In conclusion, we were able to successfully transfer the methods for related compounds of the Prazodon hydrochloride between two different HPLC platform systems to UPLC technology into a laboratory located on a different continent. Every time we transfer a method, we 
measure the system suitability of replicate injections and we met the requirements listed in the USP for the prazodone hydrochloride. Thank you for your time.